goes. Usually goes for the snake. He's opting to go for the torrent. And we have black on the Terry. So if Terry can get in, he can do a lot of damage to the Corrin. Corrin has a couple of options to keep Terry out, but I don't know if the pressure from Terry is enough to get into Corrin, or if Corrin has enough tools to keep Terry out either. Right, so you know we have two characters here that both have projectiles, right? Terry not so much, he has like a more grounded projectile. Then you have um, uh, Corrin with her projectile, right? Or their projectile. So let's see, uh, most of the time in the beginning of this match, they're actually just bashing each other. Straight up. I, I, that's probably like the first protector I've seen from the Terry. So. Oh, nice read on that on the top platform as well. Good stuff. And he did get his go, so maybe he was trying to find his way back to the center stage just to find a setup for that go. But Corin being very, very patient, waiting for that landing, catching him on that platform. I like the, the, the choice of uh, characters to play in this tournament so far with the back to back Yoshi mains and then the back to back Corin mains. So. Yeah, right? Like, I, I, was, I was expecting to see, like, some. Some we don't so Steve we haven't seen any of like any of the new DLC like that like a lot of the new DLC is seen a lot on the locals because people have been cooking in quarantine for so long. Yeah, exactly. But it seems like some people have found people outside of the DLC that they're comfortable with rather than the people that they've been used to. Because I know Evan has been on the snake, but him transitioning to foreign rather than saying like some of the newer DLC is very interesting that people are going back into the deeper pocket of characters rather than. Trying to look for these newer and more niche type of things. Yeah, exactly. I mean, who are we to assume, right? Like, this is probably just more of an experimental uh, character to choose in this tournament. So, just to see uh, how far they can go with that character. Exactly. Oh, nice side beat coming out. Now, Black is down two stocks. Trying to look for that neutral air on the way down. 206% on four. Evan's so hurt right now, and finally losing the stock. There we go, Terry, back in the game here. 34%, not too bad here, but he's definitely slowly collecting some damage here. Good pressure. Looking for a way in, having a hard time getting in. Those down tilts, that toe isn't long enough to get the top down tilt from that far. Trade in on the center and stage. Nice Who's gonna get the conversions here? Oh, looking for the back here. Too far, though, too far. Might be missing that up air, trying to pay for it. Here we go, Black with a go, misses it. Little projectile, changing the recovery option here. The grab, edge guard opportunity. Here we go. Let's What's Evan going to do? He needs to get up. Extremely patient there. There we go, gets hit. He's the foot to the face. So nice air dodge, uh, making it back on stage. Now he does have bull available. It's going to be very difficult, but if he can get a chain off or two. Yeah. But man, that's not going to kill just yet. Yeah. Not yet, not yet. But Black, nonetheless, good the eye coming from his side. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. That could have been scary right there. Very yeah. fine. Oh, man, that's fine. Going to take the kill. Yeah, now, Terry having to go, he could have made a, a way back. But the amount of pressure that Evan had in this week, especially with just keeping the Terry away, but it seemed like it was less of keeping Terry away, but more so. Uh, keeping the pressure on Terry and putting him in a position where he was trying his hardest to get back in. Because once Terry is down and he he's having a hard time finding his way in, the other character can just play more patient. Wait for the Terry to come in, make his approach, sit, sit in shield, wait for him to tap on the shield, and then respond to that afterwards. So. Yeah, exactly. Uh, play style completely changes when it comes to advantage uh, with the lead you have. You can definitely run away with it. And from there on, your opponent has to change its uh, their tactics, of course. You know, what are they going to do? How are they going to be uh, aggressive when they have the opportunity to be? Exactly. And now we have Black switching from the Terry to Joker. Joker having a couple, well, a decent amount more app options from a distance away, but still being pretty much a scrapper. Uh, trying to find his way in, look for those back airs. There we go. Ooh, but uh, Evan did a really good job with all that damage. Almost ended up killing him, but still, Black is definitely in trouble. He catches the, oh, he catches the, the air in. dodge right yeah. into that. It's tough. Finding that uh, instead of for him playing more passive, while that buff is up for, for Joker, instead he's trying to find an option again. 
you could play safer and find that center stage, or you could just play up on them and wait for them to make a mistake and capitalize on it. A lot of people play scared when that Joker gets get that extra phase, and but Warren trying to find that option on the recovery and punishing them when he chooses the wrong option. So well played by the Warren. Right. Here's the worst part. Also, uh, oh man, he's damaged. He's looking so good. Nice, nice reflect. reflect. Nice reflect. There you go. Good stuff. Uh, I was waiting for Black to uh, shoot out more projectiles there. Good stuff. His stand is out. Here we go. Game changer right here, too. So his, his damage is amplified from the original, of course. Looks like he's playing more patient, trying to find that center stage. Not really approaching too heavy. Ah. Dude, that's a lot of damage there, but not enough to kill. He also going to get the, the sweet spot with the drill. There you go. Oh, good edge guarding opportunity. Ooh. But nice counter coming from uh, Evan. There you go. Ooh, he's going to get punished for that up shoot at a shoot. Uh, up smash out of shield there. Ooh, nice the Corrin just jumping at center stage with the full hops, making the Joker make a decision, waiting for that air dodge to come out, and then catching him in the air. So well played by the Corrin with those aerial options, being able to cover a lot of air. There we go, Black trying really hard to close this out. He's looking for an edge guard opportunity here. Oh, goes out, charging, uh, charging his stand there, okay? Uh, oh, but once again, trying to get that arson, arson back out. Ooh, slash with the projectile with the back air as well. Nice. Finally gets the stock. That forward air beats the side B out. The first hit of the side B didn't even touch the board. So Black can definitely make this work. He can definitely, if, if he plays smart enough, he can definitely slowly bring this back. But right now, it's not looking too good. Yeah, he's gonna have to play very safe until Arson comes back out and try to use Arson and do some ridiculous amount of damage with Arson. But like you said, the comeback mechanic with Arson is really, really strong if you know how to utilize it. Black find his way back on stage. Got Black not being too much of a hurry to make it back on stage. He's in center stage. This is great. He's, he's collecting a lot of damage here. That's what he wants. Ooh, Evan, uh, Evan looking for the grab there. But oh, that's going to be it right there off the bat. Now that roll in. Evan takes the set. Now that roll in, put him on the, on the back end of the stage. 